Good morning. Hi guys, it's uh, Dave here from uh, Kayak Cook. And hot tip, the more you can do at home ahead of a camping trip, the better you'll be on the camping trip. And one big idea is to freeze as much stuff as you can. So the frozen stuff keeps your other fresh stuff fresh in your cooler, replacing uh, those ice packs with a big bag of frozen uh, spaghetti sauce. That acts as two things, it's dual purpose instead of just the one. So this week, we're gonna do that. I've got three really easy, great recipes that you can make ahead and freeze and enhance your culinary adventure on your next camping adventure. So let's go for a walk in the woods back to my house and we'll get started on salsa, pesto, and oh, what's life without bacon on the camping trip? I'm gonna make a bacon jam. Oh, it's tasty. It's really good stuff. So yeah, like I said, let's go for a walk in the woods. So very basic, very simple, easy to make. About two cups basil. You're gonna need a couple of cloves of garlic, which you're just gonna chop up roughly. About a half cup of parm, about two thirds of a cup of olive oil, and your walnuts. And you're gonna sprinkle in some black pepper to taste later. You might need to put in a little bit more oil to get it to the consistency that you would want, but otherwise, this is an easy, easy one to get into a bag, into the freezer, and enjoy in camp later. Meat, fish, pasta, obviously. Great stuff. Fresh and yummy. Okay, let's throw this stuff into the food processor and make it. I've already got some chopped walnuts, but we're going to put them in there first and whiz them up. Get them... Uh, Nice and fine. My handy dandy dealy bob. A little bit of basil. Because my thing is small, I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Oh, yeah bachelor sized food processor I'm gonna add a little bit of the oil help it along there we go yeah as you can see it is more and more a pesto looking item it's going to take a bit more whizzing i'm going to throw in the parm now Let's pesto without a little cheesy goodness. All right, that's the finishing touch. I've already put in a bit of pepper. Let's finish this off. Put in a titch more oil. <laughs> Chef that I am, I almost forgot the garlic. Okay, now we can finish this. And there you have it, a lovely, fresh, vibrant walnut pesto, nutty, cheesy, goody, a little garlic. I did have to add a little bit of oil, but that's just, you know, I wanted this kind of texture. All I gotta do is put it in a bag, put it in the freezer, take it camping and make a nice pasta. Next, salsa. Easy freezer, easy freezer. Easy freezer salsa. Salsa. Everybody likes saying that. Salsa. A simple freezer salsa. You need an onion, a jalapeno, juice of a lime, a couple of garlic cloves, cilantro, and you're gonna throw in some black pepper, salt, and chili powder. You can even throw in a pitch of uh, cayenne if you wanna snap it up a bit. Okay, let's get chopping and cooking. 
This one is done in 10 minutes. So, you know, your prep time is great and you just chuck it in the freezer with all the other goodies you've just made. All right, I've heated up uh, some oil on about a medium high heat. And what I've got here is the onion, garlic, and jalapeno. Jalapeno. Pretty fine dice. Pretty fine dice. Don't want any big chunks in your salsa. And you're just gonna saute this until the onion just starts to caramelize. You don't want it too brown. And watch your garlic, you don't want it to burn. So you gotta get your heat right. And we'll just do that for about five minutes. And continue on the salsa journey. Well, uh, we're starting to get a little bit of color here. So, oh, smells great. There comes tomato. Put that together. Now we're going to reduce this a little bit because there's a lot of juice. You can drain some of that. Uh, it's a can of tomatoes. You can use fresh. Nice big chunks. Now, up to you. Again, personal preference. Do you want your chunky salsa or your not so chunky salsa? Now, if you don't want chunky salsa, you can. Uh, Put this in a bowl, hit it with an immersion blender, and break it down a little bit. I don't mind a chunk. I like uh, to load up a chip. So, there you go. So, yeah, we're going to just boil down some of that extra juice. Otherwise, it's a pretty runny salsa. Now, a good rule of thumb... So you drag the spoon through the pan, and you can see the bottom, you've got a good reduction. Not quite there. See, the line fills up very quickly. A few more minutes. Let's see. There you go. Okay, I'm going to... Finishing touches here. Lime juice. About a half tablespoon of curry, and there's a bit of cayenne in there because I want a little cayenne. Now, you can also, you know, add to your jalapeno with whatever other peppers you want. Um, it's okay. Oh, also, dash of cumin in there, about half a teaspoon. Man, I gotta get better on uh, listing my ingredients, but they will be in the description box below all three recipes this week. Okay, that is that. I'm going to turn off the heat. And we're going to add cilantro. Blend that in. And let it cool. You can leave it in the fridge for about a week. And in the freezer. Pretty much indefinitely. So yeah, um, if you want, this is pretty chunky. If you want it less chunky, a quick, very quick whiz with your immersion blender and get it in the bags, get it in the freezer. And again, you know, salsa is not just for nachos. You can put it on meat, fish, toast, have some chips, nice snack on the beach in the woods and yeah again all of this stuff once it's frozen solid replaces those pesky little water bags and the uh, food bags are dual purpose because you eat them when they melt okay let this cool I'll bag it up and that is that
Tuesday's kind of like a car alarm, isn't he? Okay, bacon jam. Bacon. More bacon. Even more bacon. Keep it coming. Bacon. Okay, we're just going to chop it up into about one inch pieces. Let's see here. Stock maybe three. And a little choppy choppy. Bacon is um, getting ready and cooking in the pan. I'm going to get the uh, onions and garlic. Now you're going to use basically all of one onion and a couple of shallots. Now if you don't like onion or you're allergic, you can omit this, but it, it does add a nice jamminess to the jam. Also garlic. Uh, come on. Yeah, a little hint of that. Also, you're going to put in a few other ingredients, which we will get to in a minute. But first, just mince up some garlic. Like I said, you're going to need about a half an onion. And you are going to dice this fairly fine. You almost want it to dissolve in the jam. This is, gives a little consistency, a little flavor, a little uh, acid against the uh, sweetness, and of course, the bacon salty. All right. Oh, this is one tough onion skin. Okay, let's chop that up. Now, a nifty trick is to just cut it along the top like that where the uh, stem part which is uh, dense you keep that at the back the looser end at the front I've lost where my last cut was now that's a fairly medium to fine line you see spread now just go this way And what you have are nice little squares because that's naturally the grain of the onion. All right, pro tip. Lastly, but not leastly, just a couple of shallots and we're gonna do the same thing to them as we did to the onion. Right down the middle. And we're gonna just remove the skin. And same deal along the top, following the grain, and then simply across the grain. One is encroaching on my work area, but here you go onions, shallots, two cloves of garlic, and what you're going to add in later. Half cup brown sugar, third of a cup of blah blah rice vinegar, and about a quarter cup of maple syrup and chili powder. All right, got a nice bowl of bacon. Let's put a little bit in at a time because there's a whole package of bacon here. And Put it out a bit. You want to get it nice and crispy. All right. This is the best part. This is the uh, part where my house smells of bacon for the next 24 hours. A little bit more. A little bit more. it.
we're at close to peak crispy. Another minute or so in the pan, then I'm just gonna transfer all of this to a big pile of paper towels. Reduce the heat. And then slow cook the onion portion for about 10 minutes till they're really, really soft. Okay, the bacon is set aside. Time for the onions. And there's still a little bit of the uh, bacon grease in the pan, which is just going to make these onions all the better. So the onions are nicely browned. We're just going to top in the garlic. Stir that in. And now, a little bit of brown sugar. A little bit of vinegar. Syrup, teaspoon of chili powder, mix that all together, and now bacon. All your bacon. And we're just gonna let that reduce a bit, a few minutes. Stir it together. Oh my god. Smell o vision once again. Yum. Yeah. That's what you wanna see. A nice bubbling mess. Vlogging away. Yeah, maybe not so close to the steam, Dave. All right. That's turning into a nice gooey mess. That's what you want. Now, that's it. Let it simmer for a minute or two more. Take it off the heat. Let it cool completely and put it in a uh, freezer bag or several depending on your portion size now you can use this on burgers on your toast uh, your pancakes anything you want to put bacon a little bacon camping and bacon bacon you're welcome Well, there you have it. Three, three really great recipes that you can make ahead of time. Put in the freezer until you're going camping and uh, toss them in your cooler to keep all the fresh stuff cool. Okay, I hope you enjoy those. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still with me, thanks for being here. Uh, until next time, be good to each other. Eat well. Cheers, guys.